Alright, today we have Transformers the movie with all spark power, Big Daddy. Now, I was planning on getting this because, just because of the name, roots back to the MicroMaster days where Big Daddy was a MicroMaster who was like the fastest one, I think. I could be totally wrong, but that's just what I remember. This is a uh, repaint of... Cybertron Downshift and Lowrider. Alright, let's check them out. Alright, so now I have Big Daddy in Lowrider mode, as I like to call it. Uh, it's some sort of car. It's black. has orange flames on it. The only way it could make it more obvious that it's supposed to be uh, found on the streets uh, in Los Angeles is if it would had a gangsta riding on the windshield that said Big Daddy. Now I think that would be cool if it said Big Daddy right there. Now like I said this is based off the uh, Cybertron mode, mo mold, mold, that's right, English, uh, downshift which is inspired by a downshift from Energon which is actually a wheel jack so in a sense this is wheel jack and it comes with these missile launchers which I thought well, just by looking I've never had this mold before so I don't know didn't know how it worked I thought these were like sprung out and stayed on the inside but I guess not they you can attach them to the sides and fire And, of course, these guns are black and orange. Why orange? Mm, I don't know. I guess it kind of looks good with the black. It, it does look good in vehicle mode, which I do have to say. I would definitely keep keep it in this mode. And, um... Since this was based on the, uh, Cybertron mode, it has a Cyber Planet key. And for this one, flip up the windshield a little bit, or the back windshield, so you see a little bit of orange. And put it in there. And it has a gangsta-ass gun pop out. Take that out, pop it back in. Transformation is... Oh, and uh, one more thing. This is not smooth on the top. It's actually kind of like a very uh, kind of rough. If you could hear that, if you, this is smooth. This is the roof. Smooth, rough. That's the best way I can describe it. The doors kind of open a little bit, but there's a whole bunch of robot to them, and this will obviously become the arms. And detach the legs, and then I'll make it kind of wants to fold itself. Doesn't really stay very. There you go. Kind of have to press it in really hard to make it stay. And then once once uh, this falls, the head I'll make it pops up, and. It's kind of going to be kind of hard to see, but uh, his uh, ears fold out too. They're going to start like this, and then once the head pops up, they pop out. Feet are kind of interesting, because at first I couldn't even find them. We even with this open, because the feet are hollow. There, you can kind of see there. Get, you kind of pull out the heels first to get the feet out. Same thing for the other side. Okay. Rotate the arm so the flames are sticking up. Now he has shoulder pads. And flip out the hands. And that's him in robot mode. Pretty 
goofy looking. Minimum thought was put into this. And of course he can have both his guns in his hands. And I just showed you so I won't bother, but you can still use the uh, cyber key. So I've never had this mold. Man, I can't I can't say mold tonight. I keep on wanting to say mold. Oh well. But uh like I've never had this figure before. So I figured this would be a good chance to connect it with the movie line. It is a Walmart exclusive. So all you countries that don't have Walmart, you're going to have to import. Which I don't think you're missing out anyway, because this is a stupid toy. It's a stupid name. But if you're looking for a humorous idea, his description does not scream out Autobot War at all. He just acts the way he looks. He just wants to go down the streets of L.A., riding, around, riding along with his boys and stay out of the warrior's way and just looking good. Which he does in vehicle mode. In robot mode, he looks really goofy. So, if you're looking for a stupid ass, I funny idea for a transformer with a goofy name like Big Daddy. How would you explain that to your kid? If your kid asks, why is this called Big Daddy? Mm -hmm. I can only imagine the parents' puzzlement. No, oh, was it worth ten bucks? Yeah, sure. I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't even think about paying anything else if it was hard to find, like on eBay. Say if this was hard to find in stores. If it was like going up on twenty on eBay, no way. Just pay retail price. Don't pay shipping or anything. Just if you find it at Walmart and if you kind of like the idea, go ahead. But don't pay anything above ten. Uh, until next time. Take a little trip. Take a little